Hey guys, it is day fifth. no, no, it's day 62, <laughs> it's Monday, is that right? It doesn't matter, it's Monday, it's day 60 something, okay? Um, today was workout with Paul, and it was good, I went in around 8, and I was the only person there for the workout with him. Normally I'm in a group. And so um, it was good. It was challenging. I was ready to like rip my heart rate monitor off my chest and bang it, you know, run on it, do something because it stopped working again after all that last week and changing the batteries out and messing with all that. It um, stopped working today. So it stopped registering calories around 428, and then I worked out about 40 minutes more. So I, it bugs me because we set goals based on that, and we watched my heart rate. And I know how to, I can tell now when I've got my heart rate up, but I love, love, love to see that number at the end of my workout so that I can feel like I totally kicked this workout's butt, you know? Um, but not so much when it doesn't register your calories. So frustrating. I uh, stepped on the scale today and that is crazy. It's driving me crazy. So it's just not moving. And uh, Paul looked at my food and <sighs> he said, I'm eating out too much. Not the words I want to hear because when life is crazy, it sure is easy to run through Chipotle and I get what I would consider healthy. You know, I get the chicken fajita meat and veggies and um no cheese and sour cream and you know get guacamole on the side so I can just put a little bit on there that kind of thing but it's just full of sodium and preservatives and all of that and so um Paul said I thought these were good words you know you're eating great if you're wanting to maintain that's great for maintenance but it's not great for weight loss and I have a long way to go and so I don't want to do anything to jeopardize that or hinder it. And so I'm listening to what he's saying, taking his advice, heeding his advice. And I committed to him to not eat out for the month of October with the exception of my fit foods because everything there is fresh and um, not full of sodium and all that good stuff. So that's my commitment. No eating out for the month of October. I know that sounds easy, but from Wednesday on our life gets crazy Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And so anyway, I grilled three pounds of chicken today, tonight, so that I would have chicken to make wraps and salads and that kind of stuff with. So that should help. Um, okay. So that's the food thing. Okay. The exercise thing. When we were done with our part, I got on the treadmill to, you know, make sure I had my calorie burn in. Who knows if I did or not. I know I did, but anyway, so when I was done, my feet were killing me again. And so I was telling Paul, like, this is not okay. They hurt. And so he said, you know, I, so I think it's from the incline. Um, and so he said, oh, okay, well then it's time, must be time to run, which made me want to throw up in my mouth. I do not, do not do well with that. I've tried to do the couch to 5k program and I always quit. And I, I've even actually done some. Yeah, I did the Warrior Dash a couple times, and I ran a 5K, but I never run the whole time. And so, anyway, I always quit. So, I started thinking about it on the way home and thought, you know what? This is a good opportunity for me to do it. I have this super high accountability, and even though this program part of it ends in 90 days, my time with Paul and my journey is not over. Um, and so, they'll hold, he and Amy will hold me super accountable so I start that tomorrow. So here's what's changing. Here's what's new. No eating out in the month of October and training on the Couch to 5K program for real without quitting for the nine-week thing. So anyway, I hope you're doing well. Oh, P.S. I love setting goals for myself. So I do that with a budget. I've done that with the boys' school, but I've never done it for my physical stuff. And so that's but I'm doing it and I'm actually following through with them. And I think that's the point. I love it. So if you haven't set goals for yourself, do it right now. 
go go hit stop and go make some goals and stick with them and they don't have to be huge but just do something so you feel accomplished and like you're trying and making a difference okay thanks for watching and i'll talk to you tomorrow